Welcome to Camp Coral. SpongeBob was super excited. His parents were dropping him off at Camp Coral, the greatest summer camp in the seven seas. He was going to have so much fun. If you're lucky, son, said his dad, you'll come home with two of life's greatest gifts, friends and memories. SpongeBob heard someone sobbing. He found a camper named Patrick crying because he was homesick. Maybe all you need is a friend, SpongeBob says. I don't have any friend. friends. Friends, uh, Patrick will. Well, you've got one now, SpongeBob said to a boy. Really? To said to a boy. Who is it? It's me, said SpongeBob. I'll. SpongeBob explained. I'll be a friend. <coughs> the new friends had all kinds of fun together, and Patrick forgot being about being homesick. While SpongeBob and Patrick were jellyfishing, a squirrel named Sandy floated down to the ocean bottom. Woohoo! She whooped. Hey, all critters at the sea, look out below! SpongeBob introduced himself and Patrick. Sandy said she was from Texas and she liked to do uh, and she liked to adopt things like underwater life and report back to her sixth grade classmates. You could be a scientist someday, SpongeBob told. Sandy thought that was a great idea. That night there was a talent show. A counselor named Mrs. Puff said the campers would vote on the best performer. Whoever got the most votes would win the Campy Award. Backstage, SpongeBob and Patrick were getting ready to perform the act. A camper named Squidward came in and introduced himself. Squidward was sure his clarinet playing would win him the Campy Award. Mrs. Puff introduced Squidward. He walked on stage and started playing. He made strange shrieking noises on his clarinet. Everyone was confused by the weird music. S some campers were even scared. Only SpongeBob and Patrick were SpongeBob and Patrick clapped and cheered. Yay, Squidward! They said. Thank you, thank you. Squidward said Squidward. Bowing, vote for me. <coughs> SpongeBob and Patrick were up next. They sang a goofy song called A Waka Waka Maka Mia. It was about a puffer fish who wanted to be really big. Patrick interpreted Spongebob until he was huge. Then Spongebob shone around the room like a balloon was in air. He let it in the room of his mouth. The camper spit Spongebob out. Ta-da! Spongebob said, shrinking the pole. Squibber like, ha <laughs> terrible. That can't be a war of mine for sure. But to Squidward's dismay, SpongeBob and Patrick won their Campy Award. Everyone clapped excitedly. Squidward went off crying. SpongeBob and Patrick looked at each other, worried about their new friend. They found Squidward in his hut. Guess what, Squidward? said SpongeBob. That was a big mistake. You won the Campy Award. I did? Squidward asked. Well, yup, Patrick said, handing him the award. As Squidward hugged his prize, SpongeBob went at Patrick. Who gave him a thumbs up? The next day, Mr. Krabs made delicious Krabby Patties following his, following his secret formula. You should open your own restaurant someday, SpongeBob told Mr. Krabs. You can make a lot of money. Money? said Mr. Krabs. He liked SpongeBob's idea. As SpongeBob walked away with his Krabby Patties, Plankton tried to send him food from his tremobile. The tiny chef complained that everyone preferred the Krabby Patties. Why don't you ask Mr. Krabs for his secret formula? SpongeBob said, Good idea, said Plankton. I will. Plankton rushed to talk to Mr. Krabs. Splat! Thinking Plankton was a bug, Mr. Krabs swatted him with a fine pair. Jerk! Plankton growled. If it takes for the rest of my life, I'll get you back for this. SpongeBob found him nice spot by the lake to eat his Krabby Patties. Just as he started to take a bite, he heard a meow. He looked down and saw a little snail staring up at him. Handing his snail a piece of food, SpongeBob asked, 
What's your name? Mao Gary, huh? SpongeBob said. Well, hi, Gary. Do you want to be friends? Mao. SpongeBob made lots of wonderful new, wonderful new friends and memories at Camp Coral. He thought it was the greatest camp ever. The end.